Our hand is pretty good. Unfortunately, this matchup is not really about our hand being good so much as it's about how good their hand is going to be because I can't interact with them and their linear draw on average is going to be more powerful than ours. Is the TLDR. What is X23 jumps middle? I might stamp. My hand's pretty good here. Did you try the new Moon Knight Samurai Black Bolt deck yet? You say that like it's an established deck I should be aware of. But it is not, and I am not. Do I want to do this here to have six energy next turn, or would I rather have eight energy on the last turn? I think I'd rather have eight energy on the last turn. What a game! Four, five, six, seven. I could wait on Hydra Bob. Am I supposed to wait on Hydra Bob? I think I'm supposed to wait on Hydra Bob. Because Kitty's gonna come back to hand, and then I have five, and then either a Hit Monkey or a Sage. Oh. Yeah, well, I'll press the button here. That 50 50 hurts. I definitely need to change my underwear. That's not a bad pull. And now, because they snapped, I need to play Hydra Bob in the middle, so he jumps over to here. was bigger than that. Victory. Thank you, bibbity bobbity boo. Bibbity bobbity boo, bibbity bobbity boo. I feel like I am legally obligated to say you should not spend resources on Hydra Bob. Please, for the love of God, don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't you dare. If you have to ask, no, you shouldn't. Too, too late. Yep. It's 
spit on that thing, Merc with a mouth. Yeah, that tracks. They play two cards here that we might be torched. So I'm glad we finally have a good variant for Hope Summers. This is your fair, not so fair warning. Actually, we gave a little bit of a warning. If you're just saying something is linked and not providing me with an actual source to the leak, I'm just gonna time you out. Leaks, leaks happen, but like, you really, source, I don't know. Yeah, just don't tell me what the source is. Like, put a link in my chat. Source, brah, trust me, brah, brah, trust me, trust me, brah. The problem is they could be a Dark Hawk deck, right? I'm leaving. I think the odds of them being a dark hawk deck are too high. Escaped. Vicar out. Thank you for the 11 months. Welcome back. They're about to play a copycat and Gwenpool on Carbartage and then I'll leave afterwards having paid 10 cubes. Oh, just Cassandra Nova, sure. I 
think I want to wait a turn to Gwenpool here. I'm gonna step him back. Alexis, thank you for the 15 months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. So I have eight energy. I'm gonna play one, two, three, four cards. So this is 17, 26 over here. I think I wanna compete for here. This just covers us in the middle in case they shag us here. We're playing left and right. You are not the juggernaut, bitch. You are my bitch. Lose the right by a little bit, but we win the other two. with guns one sweaty try hard best deck in the four bad zero This year. I think I want to get my hand smaller for Gwenpool. I think I'm putting, uh, or I think I want to put Hope over into here. Just get that out of the way. So I'm going to want to play Gwenpool into my Hope path. Plus, this could hit a Mysterio, which would be stellar. And this lets me go Angela Gwenpool on the left next turn. Me not drawing, uh, not drawing Mysterio is really said.
right, Doctor, no limbo, please. All right, Doctor, no limbo, please. Uh, I think we beat this. Yeah, we're winning it all three. Well, the real Slim Shady, please stand up. No problems here. Bob's working out. Yeah, Bob's fine in this deck. If you're missing Bob, I think you could play Martyr, Martyr or Titania. I do think I do think Bob is optimal. And again, I would just like to reiterate the only reason you should have Hydra Robert in your collection is if you are someone who is incredibly irresponsible with your money. You all, you all should not have these things. Why would you call me out like that? Tell me you need to hear it. I'm a snap whale. Of course, I'd be responsible with your money. Listen, if you're really a snap whale, you can certainly afford more than a tier one sub on this channel is all I'm saying. I need to say panned art very incomplete. There's a lot of panned arts. Oh, that's so bad for me. On the other hand. On the other hand. Wait, they didn't have a three drop? Are you kidding me? Holy, and we drew hit monkey video gamers. Oh, baby. And I get to go Sarah Kitty into Hope next turn. Oh, we hit Mysterio twice. Holy forking shirt balls. Okay, so they're at a virtual plus four here. So they're at 16. I'm going to go to 22. We'll put this out. We'll put this out. We'll put this out. Oh my god. I get to just do it all, chat. I get to just do it all, chat. The whole hand. And for those of you that haven't seen Mysterio with hand buffs before, uh, the Mysterio clones count as four power things. Stereo clones are four power things. Wait, they only played two cards? Jagged absorbing man. I think we beat that, yeah?
Of all the stays in Marvel Snap, that is one of them. Seriously worth 6,000 tokens? Assuredly, no. Zero percent is seriously worth anything. This is probably Surfer Hawk. Band Adventure, I guess. God, our hand is so good. I guess this. And then we'll eat we'll eat the one of the gins next turn. Draws me two cards. I draw one for the turn. Kitty comes back to hand. We want to not have priority because of Killmonger. I don't think they're a Killmonger deck. Why not Kitty the Angela Path? Because I don't want to brick a draw like I just counted. Adds a Jin to my hand, which breaks the draw. Keep their keep their hawk small.
Thank goodness we didn't brick the draw. I mean, not bricking the draw means their Dark Hawk gets smaller. I didn't need any of the cards that were in my deck. I just wanted to make their Dark Hawk as small as possible. Yeah, Duck, that's a solid pile of cards. I like it. I guess I have to go by Robert, please. Chad, I, I'm begging you. I would feel so bad if you spent resources on Hydra Robert because of this deck. Please don't do it. Jeff is begging me to buy Bob, got it. Chat, I would just like to say that if you buy Hydra Bob for this deck and you're not subscribed, if you're not subscribed to this channel, you are not irresponsible enough with your money to buy Hydra Bob. So before you go spend 6,000 tokens, you better slide me a fiver first if you really want to commit to being this atrocious with your money. Ant-Man is fine, uh, Martyr's fine, Titania is fine. Spent 6k on Makari, got it. Uh, genuinely, Makari's a better pickup than Hydra Bob. Global, thank you for the 21 months, appreciate it. Crispy Rye, I appreciate the third of a year. BRB buying Hydra Bob. Thanks for the 20 months, Hulk. Baker Street, thank you for the brand new primer. Fat Astronaut, thanks for continuing on with your gift sub. The Lord Bonk, thank you for the seven months. I mean, that was annoying, but it's not the end of the world, especially with the uh, Mysterio draw here. Although, I guess the Mysterio, the clones are minus two, yeah? Two, three, nine, ten, ship it for one more. Oh, good! Pew, pew, pew! Uh, honey. Mm, honey. I'm honestly impressed that we're this far ahead against them considering they're a Cosmo deck. Also, like, how many fucking odd reveals are in their deck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Their deck is over 50% odd reveals. White Widow is at least a unique effect inside of Clutter decks. One power, one power cards that just add stats to the board. Uh, generally speaking, feel, feel, end up a bit short. Uh, generally speaking, end up a bit short in part due to... Um, What's it called? Uh, Killmonger being a thing. I found the rock.
It's only plus one on the Nico, but I think that's fine. I want to get my hand smaller so Gwen pulls a little bit more targeted. This beats them surfering this turn, so I think we just guaranteed take the Asgard draw. If they're locked out of the center, and then their Darkhawk is bad, so we drew cards. Good for us. Honestly, is this ever correct? And then I Gwenpool have a better chance to hit Mysterio next turn? Maybe it's this. This is the opposite of shrinking our hand for it, but... It means that we get to be efficient on the Dream Dimension turn, which is nice. Uh, I think they're most likely to Cosmo here, so I'm gonna go right. I don't think we have the option to get priority here, Potato Elemental. Out the power of animals with guns, shit. Okay. Victory. Hydra Bob, what do you think? I mean, I would have also won the game as Satania and Ant Man, right? All right, gamers. Have some adverts! I'm gonna run upstairs and grab my lunch or to see if we can chase down this infinite ticket with this Gwen Hope Monkey Deck when we return. Thanks for hanging out. Don't go anywhere.
Right. So for lunch, I've got one of my leftover HelloFresh meals. Got some roasted chickpeas and some bread crumble with Italian seasoning and kale on a bed of kale. A little bit of cheese on top too. I need to ask for Chat's opinion though. What of what of the instructions in the in the meal was I kid you not massage the kale. Was was HelloFresh just trying to get me to rub leaves to see if they can, I I would follow it? Is there a is there a camera? In the box, maybe I wasn't aware of, or is massaging kale a real thing? It sounds, it sounds very made up. All these people in chat that have massaged their leaves before. Hello, Joe. Thank you for slowly getting your sub on up here in Oglandia. Appreciate the half a year. Quiznet, thank you for the 18 months. Thanks, Prime Time. I cannot believe this is like the second airship deck playing main deck Darkhawk so that we've run into today. Oldlygale.com uh, If I do this, I'll have eight energy next turn. One, two, three, four, seven. Do I... Do I play Nico out as well? To guarantee I'm going to be able to play everything. Yeah, I think so. Minions to me. They got Hella and Corvus at random from Arishim. That's pretty good. Ten out of ten, hello fresh meal would eat again. I mean, I probably wouldn't have been nearly as good if I hadn't spent so much time massaging the leaves. But I just want to make it clear that the deliciousness was related to the massage. So they're at a virtual uh three here and i'm adding 14. it's mostly a question of if i need to compete for the left tier probably do need to compete for all three unfortunately Opponent snapped. ah shit I think I need to compete for all three. Knowledge is power. Yep. 
in to lose every lane. Just marble snap things. Snap. I am the danger zone. Thanks for the nine months. Appreciate it. For fuck's sake. Hellbender, thank you for the brand new prime. I appreciate it. So I can Jeff into here. And then we'll go ahead and pull next turn. I think we win this most of the time, yeah? about this as how they ran most of the turn timer down and then just played the same six drop again. Oh, Arishin players. We're playing for an avatar. I got 
the only one I really wanted for the season. Cannonball one's not bad. I like the upside down one better, I think. They're both pretty good. New Max is not bad too. I don't mind the anime boy. Let's do the anime boy. It's like an opener and a neutral first location for us. Marvel Snap Fashion. We have a bad matchup for the last one. Next turn, I'll have seven. Do I want to play Hydra Bob out? I don't think so. I only have five spots, right? Well, I probably want to try and send Titania back. My boober step here. Oh, snap. This matchup's bad. They might stay. Shang's possible. They have priority. I think we're beating Eliath with our points in the other lanes. I guess they have a free Titania. Eliath could get us. It's not usually a clutter card, though. Or 
Cooper, our opponent is also 4-0 here. Ajax could get us. Yeah, maybe. Victory. Cannonball. No, Cannonball puts him to 18. And then I would have Hitmonkey that's uh, 15. Maybe that staff is bad. I bet they stay for four. Confirmed Ajax giving. They're just gonna clutter us here. I don't think I snapped this. Dr. Octopus and Clutter, or what I would say are probably the bad matchups for this deck. Yeah, snapping actually moves Bob, which could be strategically valuable. Actually, do I just do this and then I snap so Bob goes here? Oh, snap. It's the biggest boomer in the world this set. I just like, or our position is so bad in these games. Like, I don't feel like we're ahead in the early points. Just have so many plays that can, that can ruin us in the early games. Holding our staps also has value for Bob. Victory. Which is nice. Weird play. I guess they assumed I was going to bail out of here because they, they were losing this. Even if I moved both of these, they were only tying here. Hydra must have. How can you make a viewer deck suggestion? On days when I'm taking viewer decks, it's a 10 USD tip for subscribers and a 20 USD tip for non-subscribers. But I only I only do those on certain days. 
Uh, they are a Shang deck, so this monster island is incredibly unfavorable for us. Probably gonna end up leaving. Yeah, the Titania in turn one is basically never ideal and not how you should be playing it. For, for reference. they widow mid. If they widow mid, it's great for me, right? Because it fills for them and doesn't fill for me. I guess they could widow plus something else mid. I think they're like going to widow left, and that's why I'm filling left. Could be a Doc Ock on the bridge step. Yeah, maybe, but I have Nocturne to cover that. words, they're not a Doc Ock deck. I think I do this so that I just play all three of these next turn, moving the Nocturne. I'm spewing my plus... I'm spewing the plus two on the Nico to do this, but if I or plus two for the Nico, but if I play Gwenpool here, I'm only gaining four. I guess twenty one probably wins the right, right? It just makes my hit monkey worse next turn is the problem. And they just didn't play into the rickety bridge this turn. That's good for us. I guess if I was expecting this play from them, I'm supposed to Gwen pull the center. Yeah, I messed this up. I should have Gwen pulled the center. This is only nine, yeah? So I dodged Shang Chi on the left. Their Ajax is tiny. I think, I think they basically, I, I think barring Nocturne crit failure, we're good to go here. It's 11. I'm only playing out two other cards. It's nine. Onto a good one with this pile, Duck. I think we got an infinite ticket with this one to to uh, last week, right? I, I like this build a lot. Yeah, the has re the the Nocturne to the Jeff give you such good play. It's uh, I, I honestly don't know. Like I assumed the clutter stuff would be bad for us, but seeing how Nocturne and Jeff and Kitty let us play into it, I'm actually not sure that I agree that that's the case. If you haven't seen this deck before, this is one of the many innovative off-meta decks you're missing. That gets highlighted seven days a week at youtube.com forward slash Jeff Hoagland. We're always trying to color outside the lines here. This was originally a viewer submission. 
from Duck Doolittle in chat that I liked I liked a lot. You uh zero percent, please, for the love of God, I'm begging you, do not spend resources on Hydro Robert. Please, please, I would feel very bad if you bought Hydro Robert. You should play Martyr or Titania or Ant Man, probably Ant Man. You need, you need Hitmonkey, you need Hope, you need Gwenpool. All of those are good cards you should feel good spending resources on. Hydra, Hydra Robert is not a good card. You should not spend resources on him. Don't do it. Rest of the, rest of the deck is good. White, White Widow is also optional. Yeah, White Widow, White Widow is super replaceable. White Widow can be a different, generically good two energy card. Bob, Bob and Widow, not worth picking up. I think you could even get away with no Nico. Nico could be a different cheap card. You need, you need Kitty. You need Hitmonk, you need Hope, you need Gwenpool. Movers are good too. God, this deck is so expensive. It's actually almost all series five cards, yeah? One, one, two, three. 